I can't believe I have to make a video on how to microwave food. This is a tool specifically invented so that a total know-nothing can make light of kitchen work and yet day in and day out I see office dum-dums f*** it up on the regular. Come on, let's go knock this one out as quick as we can. Your hair got all wonky because you were really upset. Okay, first, flat dishes are better than bowls. I know you never want to throw away your marinara stained freshman year Tupperwares, but when you look at the shape of a bowl, it's got uneven heat distribution written all over it. So scoop everything onto a plate, or just start off with these low profile tray style containers to begin with. Then you don't have to worry about it. Also, leave it out for a minute. Take your food out of the fridge and leave it on the counter while the chill wears off. Go to the water cooler, dispense yourself a beverage, and start some office drama based on fake gossip that you made up. Geometric tip! Make a hole in the middle. This is surface area at work again. A ring of food reheats better than a brick of it. If your container is a square, just make a little well in the middle. If your microwave's tray spins, place your food on the outside rim. A spinning tray means nothing if your food just sits there in the middle rotating. This outside rim travels a greater distance and gives you a better insurance coverage against hot spots and cold spots. I like to put the lid on top without closing it so it doesn't explode. Close the door and oh boy, look at that. You're already cooking. Look at all those options. Which one are you gonna choose? Don't worry about it. Forget about all of them. There's a million microwaves with a billion arbitrarily named programmings. All you need to worry about is the good old reheat option. The good old reheat button is your best shot at achieving a low, even strength. Basically, reheat just means that your machine secretly turns on and off in little zaps of energy while your plate dances around getting a nice, even, radioactive suntan. Okay, it could sound like Battlefield 2 in there and there'd still be cold spots, you never know. So, pop it out, give it a little stir, and repeat the reheat. I meant to say that it could sound like a World War II battlefield, but I like the idea of your meal sounding like Battlefield 2. That, my sweet doo-doo heads, is how you microwave your leftovers. If you came here looking for tips on how to microwave fried foods, turn back now. It's never gonna work. Certain foods just don't microwave well. If you wanna reheat fried foods, use the real oven, the big boy oven. And if you step to me trying to reheat your leftover pizza in the microwave, instead of French toasting your pizza, boy, hold me back.